Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Please subscribe. The button's down there. Can you see it? It's down there. On your right. Right there. Yes, that's it. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? To lay down and relax and get comfortable. Maybe you've had a long day and it's time to just rest and meditate and listen to a story. This story is all about Avery. Avery was moving house. She was going to go and live in Hawaii. Avery was 12. On the journey with her was a mom, her dad, and her dog, Astro. She also had a bunch of stuffies with her in her carry-on bag. She had brown bear, ladybug, squishy dog, and Rainbow the Rabbit. Rainbow the Rabbit was one of her oldest stuffed teddies, her oldest stuffy. Rainbow was very, very smart. And because it was the oldest one, it kind of took charge of everything. It was very wise and knew lots and lots of things. On the trip to the airport, she was sat in the back of the car, staring out of the window, stroking her dog, Astro, with all of her stuffies lined up on the back seat. She was holding Rainbow the Rabbit really close to its face and talking to it. They were having a conversation in her mind. When Rainbow the Rabbit's whiskers just happened to tickle Avery's nose. They tickled her cheeks and tickled her nose. And Avery whittled her nose and tried to stop her sneeze. Rainbow Rabbit did it once again. Its whiskers tickled Avery's nose. And this time, Avery whittled her nose and rubbed her eyes and tried to stop a sneeze. When all of a sudden, when she opened her eyes, she had this vision of a place in her mind. It was like everything around her disappeared and all she could see was this vision. The vision was very, very clear. It was puppies. Lots and lots of puppies in a forest. It was like puppy forest, she thought. They were so cute. There was puppies everywhere, running all over between the trees. They were climbing the trees. They were in the bushes. And there were so many different types and shapes and sizes and colors. And they were all so cute. In her mind, like I said, it was so, so clear. Then all of a sudden, Rainbow Rabbit's whiskers tickled her nose once again and she rubbed her nose and sneezed and found herself in Puppy Forest. Literally, she could feel the forest underneath her feet. She could smell the trees and she could hear all the puppies doing their tiny little cute puppy box and puppy noises. One of them was even licking her toes. It was so cute. She looked around. She couldn't see anything but puppies, but she did have her carry-on bag. And her carry-on bag had brown bear, ladybug, squishy dog, and rainbow rabbit in it still. Why was she here? What was she doing in this strange, magical puppy forest? Rainbow rabbit looked up at her and said, Wow, this is going to be an adventure. This is going to be quite a trip. Are we ready for a trip, everybody? And she looked around at everybody, talking to Avery and the other stuffies. Are we ready for this? said Rainbow Rabbit. It's been quite a while since we've all been on a trip together. There's lots of things that we have to take note of when we're on a trip. It's not just like being at home. Going on a journey, going on a trip, always confuses things and causes issues if you're not careful. I have a few rules, just a few family rules I think I should run by everybody. All the other stuffies looked at each other. Okay, said Brown Bear. We'll listen, she said. What are the rules? 
What do we have to do so that this trip is okay? Avery sat everyone down on the ground in the forest. They were completely surrounded by puppies and they were so cute and they were very distracting. Avery was having a hard time focusing on all the family rules, but she stopped and she listened because it was important. Right, said Rainbow. First rule, to make this a pleasant trip, we all have to be patient with each other. All the stuffies looked at each other and nodded. Okay, we can do that. Use your words to work it out, said Rainbow Rabbit. Avery looked at the stuffies and said, that sounds like a plan. Very smart advice. What's the next rule? Rainbow Rabbit said, respect each other's stuff, but also share. Next rule, be a good sport and don't brag. Next rule, be flexible, especially when traveling, which we're doing right now, we're traveling. What does being flexible mean, Big Bear? Big Bear rubbed on her little chin for a moment with one of her paws, thinking about it, contemplating the answer, and then she looked at everyone and said, it means go with the flow. Be flexible means go with the flow. So no matter what happens, try and chill out and just go with the flow. Very good, said Rainbow Rabbit. You knew exactly what I meant. Next rule, keep an open mind, especially on trips and try new things. Avery said, this is a trip and we're trying new things. How about we roll around all over the forest floor with these puppies for a minute? Rainbow Rabbit paused and said, These rules are very important, but that sounds like a lot of fun. So the stuffies and the puppies played and rolled around and the puppies licked them and had them chase each other and it was very, very cute. Rainbow Rabbit called attention once again after a few moments of playing and said, Okay, next rule. No running off, especially on trips. She looked at Ladybug. Ladybug actually liked to fly off. It's irresponsible to run off or fly off when we're on a trip. Someone tell me why. Ladybug thought about it and said, Because we might get stolen or we might get lost. Exactly, said Rainbow Rabbit. So no running off. The next rule is cooperate when you're asked to do something the first time. Let's not have to nag at each other, right? Everyone said, right. The next rule is don't say if you don't like your food. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So if there's something different to eat here in Puppy Forest and you don't like it, just don't eat it. You don't have to make a big deal about it. You don't have to make gross noises. You don't have to be dramatic. You just don't eat it. And you don't have to say anything. All agreed, said Rainbow Rabbit. Everyone agreed. The next rule, so that we all have fun and stay safe on this trip, is respect someone's bubble. That means give each other personal space. Avery said, I think that this is a good one because sometimes it's nice to just be alone in your own space and not have anyone bugging you. All of the stuffies agreed. That was a very good rule. The next rule, said Rainbow, is don't waste money. Don't ask to buy a drink or anything else if we can buy drinks at Puppy Forest if you're not going to drink it because things cost money and if you don't drink them or eat them, When you've bought them, then it's a waste. And a waste is not so good, right? Because someone may be hungry out there in the world. They could have really drank that drink or eaten that snack. And it's such a shame to buy things and then not eat them. It's just a waste. So if there's any shops or anywhere to buy anything here in Puppy Forest, what do we do? Ladybug said, we only buy the things that we need are the things that we're going to eat or drink, right? Rainbow Rabbit said, right, exactly. The next rule, try something before you say you don't like it. So if there's something new to do here, something different to eat, something to explore and you're not sure about it, try it before you say you don't like it. Avery said, that's a very, very good rule. 
You never know until you try, right? Rainbow Rabbit said, right. Next rule. When you're having food on your trip, always eat peas before your pie. Avery laughed at this rule. Where did you get that rule from, she said. Your mom, said Rainbow Rabbit. Your mom thinks that you should always eat your food before you eat your dessert. And I agree, I think it's a good rule. Otherwise, everyone in the world would just eat dessert first. And sometimes, desserts aren't that healthy. So, we eat our peas before we eat our pie. All the stuffies looked at each other for this one, and reluctantly, they nodded. Okay, next rule. If you're hungry, save it for dinner. Don't fill up on snacks. This rule was pretty self-explanatory, so everyone understood that one very quickly. Next rule. Be nice, safe, and fun. When you're playing, be nice, be safe, and have fun. They all nodded in agreement. Very good rule. And the final rule on this trip is have fun with your family. Avery smiled. I like that rule. Have fun with your family. I think that one is my favorite rule, Rabbit. Right. Are we all agreed? Now that we understand everything about this trip, let's explore. They all started to walk with the puppies through the forest. One of the puppies was a magical puppy that could fly and it was big enough to carry everyone on its back. Come on, it said. Let's go for a flying ride. You'll see everything from up here, much better than down below on the forest floor. Avery, Squishy Dog, Brown Bear and Ladybug and Rainbow Rabbit all got on the back of this ginormous puppy. They started to fly. The puppy was right. They could see everything from up here. There were hills and valleys. There was even what looked like far off in the distance, like a rainbow-colored waterfall. They were all hoping that they were going to go to that waterfall. It looked so beautiful. They were flying over what looked like a big, giant, brown pond or something. The puppy started to fly down very quickly. It flew down faster and faster and faster until all of them found themselves in a hot tub full of hot chocolate bubbling all around them. The puppy started laughing. This is hot chocolate hot tub. Enjoy. It's one of our favorite things here in Puppy Forest. The stuffies and Avery at first thought it was a little bit bizarre swimming around in a hot tub full of hot chocolate, but it had its advantages. One was it was very warm and very relaxing. Another was you could actually drink it while you swam around in it. And another was the chocolate seemed to be very good for your skin. It made it smell delicious and it was very smooth and soft when you got out. Everyone said to the flying puppy that they would like to go see that rainbow waterfall if that was possible. It's very possible, said the puppy. Climb back on board, let's go. We started to fly towards what just looked like an ordinary rainbow type of waterfall. But as they got closer and closer, they noticed that the waterfall wasn't actually made from water. It was made from rainbow sprinkles. This, said the flying puppy, is called Sprinkle Falls. And you're welcome to swim in the sprinkles and stand underneath the waterfall and be covered in rainbow-coloured sprinkles. It has a very magical property about it. It makes you feel awesome. Rainbow Rabbit said, Well, I think I already have a very strong connection to this waterfall. It looks just like me. They all landed on the ground and dived into the big pool of rainbow-coloured sprinkles. They did breaststroke and backstroke and it was really, really fun to swim in sprinkles. And like the chocolate hot tub, Sprinkle Falls had its advantages too. You could swim in it, which was awesome and fun, and you could also eat the sprinkles. The sprinkles, when you eat them, also had a magical power. They made you feel 
full of love, like rainbows coming out of your heart and your chest. The Stuffies and Avery played at Sprinkle Falls for quite some time, and then they started to walk back through the forest, when all of a sudden, Rainbow Rabbit's whiskers tickled Avery's nose. Avery sneezed and found herself pulling up just outside the airport. It was time to get on a real plane and fly to Hawaii to their new home. She gathered up all of the stuffies, what was very, very strange. She didn't say anything to her mum and dad, was that all of the stuffies had rainbow sprinkles in their ears and in their clothing and stuck in them in different places. Avery checked her ears and shook her head and a few rainbow sprinkles came out of her hair. How and why and where Puppy Forest was, who knows? But it seemed that she'd definitely been there. The End